at interpreting line plots. Tom was selling boxes of chocolate candy for his school fundraiser. He plotted the number of boxes he sold in the line plot below. Use his line plot to answer the questions. Notice over here that each X represents one box that he sold. How many boxes did he sell on day 8? So we take a look at the 8 and you count the X's. So that would give me 10. Did he sell more boxes on day 7 or day 2? So you simply look at day 7 and day 2 and you can easily see that he sold more on day 7. The next question did he sell fewer boxes on day 9 or day 6? 9 and 6, and we can easily see that he sold more on 6. How many days did he sell more than 3 boxes? So we have to look at all of the places. There's one that he sold more than 3 boxes. And that answer would give us 8. And then we have fewer than 7. So we count each line that would give us fewer than seven, and that would be five days. This one says, what is the com combined amount of boxes he sold on day three and day 10? So if we look at three, we have eight. So we add those two numbers together. One question that I see a lot of people miss is how many total days or how many total boxes did he sell. For that you would count up all of the X's that we have here, add up all of the numbers, and you would count each X here and that would give you the total. So just remember anytime you're looking at a line plot each X represents one number in the data. So that means that for every X we see that would give us a box. So once you count up all of the X's, we would get 67 for our total. It's also important to note that if I wanted to list this data out, I would just look at the number of X's in each. So there are four ones. So if we were listing, we would just list just like this. There's lots of numbers in this list, so I'm not going to do them all. But that just tells you how you would list them if you needed to find the mean or the median of these numbers.